Hey folks, it is time for Twip Pro Photo Critique number 70. This is Twip. Hey there, welcome back to another episode of the Twip Pro Photo Critique. I'm here with my partner in crime, Mr. Troy Miller. Troy Miller is standing by to discuss with me why there were so few father-related submissions in Twit Pro. What is it? People don't like fathers? I, I, don't, I understand, Troy, what's happening here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I thought this one would have been a little bit easier, but you know, maybe it's just one of those topics that uh, isn't isn't covered a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everybody has a father, right? I mean, well, not everyone has a father, but it took a father to make everybody, let's say. <laughs> But they don't all have photos of them, right. you know, so uh, maybe maybe it was just uh, challenging beyond what we had expected, you know. I don't know. We might have to do a redo on this one. It might, we might have to do a redo because, you know, come on, you know. Fathers, give us some love here. It was Father's Day. Come on. All right. So let's uh, let's dive right in. I mean, we got more love. Did we do a Mother's Day one? We didn't do Mother's Day, did we? No, I don't think we did. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe it was retaliation. Oh, for not doing <laughs> yeah. All the mothers are like, you're not. You yeah, are not exactly. going there. <laughs> exactly. All right. Hello, Mutta. Here we go. Stepping right into the screen share. We do all have right. some great images. We're we're very we got some very good ones to go through. So yeah, no, absolutely. And look at this this first post from Michael Duray. Michael says, "I'm wondering why the lack of interest is so pre pre prevalent for the father critique. Only six submissions. I agree, Mr. Yeah. Duray. You know, I agree. Only six submissions. What's what is going on with that? Um, yeah. so let's dive right in. The first one is Armando Brook. Armando says. Armando. I asked if I could take one photo. They liked the idea, so and they started making some making some funny faces. This is from Chennai, India. <laughs> <That is. laughs> I like it. I yeah. like it. It's really cute. Yeah, I'd probably crop it a little bit tighter. I think there's a little too much space on the right. I think you could definitely come in, but I love the little girl's face. That's super cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I was looking at the shot and it just sort of it just speaks to the fact that father daughter relationships for the most part you know are are very similar worldwide you know so if you right. have a little young daughter like this and a dad you know i i feel the same way we when when i'm hanging out with my daughter i just become you know oblivious to anybody else and i'm uh, i'm like nine <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's perfect. Yeah, no, yeah. that's how it. That's how it should be. Yeah, yeah. Youth is precious. That's for sure. So this yep. is very she, cute. She's my license to act like an idiot, and I, I enjoy <laughs> it so. <laughs> in public. <laughs> no, I, yeah, no. This is a. Uh, I love the shot. I agree with you. It should be cropped a little bit on the right side. That doesn't really add into it too much. I don't know if I'd crop up from the bottom at all because we're already pretty close to her fingers in there but yeah maybe a square crop on this would be nice yeah yeah i wouldn't lose any of those fingers but just a little tighter on the right i mm -hmm. love it though yep yep very good shot thank you mr armando all right next shot is from alicia and alicia says we all have that mental image of our fathers who they are what they look like what they represent to us this image is the absolute closest i could ever get to showing you how my own father looks to me in my mind's eye. P.S. Happy Father's Day to all of you loving, caring, dude, uh, care, caregiving dudes. Thank you. See, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm talking about right there. That, <laughs> that captures the entire spirit of this session right there, you know? Yeah, and this is definitely one of my favorite images in in the bunch. I mean, it's one. It's you know the processing. I think is just beautiful. The black yeah, and white processing, for sure. And I'm I'm a big fan of the hands. I mean, I realize you know the mask of the face and the eyes and everything, and it's all there. But for me, the hands, the hands are really amazing. Um, you know, those are working hands. You can you can just see by the fingernails, and you know, those are those are rough hands, but those are protective hands, and that's mm -hmm. that to me, this is a really amazing portrait of a father. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it, I agree with everything you said, and I love the processing as well. I even love the selection of the background and his and her positioning of him on the background. Kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, he was sitting there thinking about something and she just sort of walked up and said, hey, dad, can I snap a quick picture? And before right. he said, no, get out of here, you know, <laughs> she snapped the photo. Not again. 
<laughs> Again, you and that camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to your I room, Alicia. Wish, <laughs> I, I do wish we, we could crop a little bit on the right, but I wish we had a little bit more room in front of his hands mm. on the left. I just I just wish that his hands weren't right, right to the edge of the frame. Um, because if you did put we, this in a frame and matted it, you would lose a little bit of that, right? Yeah, it's just it just creates a little too much tension there. Only only because I like the hands a lot. I mean, the face is great, the body positioning is great, but I just really like those hands, and I feel like that's my secondary subject in this image, and I just I want them to have a little bit more space. But um, the highlights, the shadows, the black and white treatment, uh, the square crop, very well done. Very well done. Yep, I love it. What were the specs of this? Oh, she shot it with her Nikon D850 with a Tamron. Um, I wonder how she processed this. I wonder if this is Lightroom or Photoshop or, or Capture One or other. Alicia, let us know. How'd you process this image? I'm curious. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice little green. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Next shot is from Eric Pronsky. Eric says... Daddy with daughter, I was walking down the Melson, Melcion, Melcon, Melcone seawall in Havana close to sunset. This father was the nicest man and my broken Spanish and his broken English carried on a simple conversation. His daughter was so glad to be with him. He graciously posed with his daughter for this image shot with his Sony E900 24 to 70 lens. This shot reminds me of me and my daughter, I swear. You know, this is this is us. <laughs> this, this is exactly us. Yeah. We're we that's are so we are cute. best friends and they look like best friends in this shot, right? Yes. I, that's what I was gonna say. That's exactly it. And you know, my daughter's twenty four now, but uh you don't forget that, right? You don't forget those hanging out and playing and stuff. And this is this fully encapsulates, you know, the whole father daughter. If, even if you didn't know this was dad and daughter You'd have you'd have to guess, right? Like yep. this this tells that amazing story, and those beautiful smiles. I mean, that's just that's so great. Yeah, no, this is a good shot. This is really good. I like it. This is tough. It's a tough critique, you know. know. Pick, picking a favorite. This is. This I just really wish nice. the vignette wasn't as heavy on this one. I'm you know nitpicking a little bit, Eric, mm -hmm. but I can see the vignette. So right. right. Well, I mean, it's on a light sky, so either he would. If it was a lighter vignette, it would probably wouldn't even be there, right? So, yeah. Or are you suggesting yeah. this would have been better with no vignette at all? I think no vignette would have really worked well for this. Mm, okay. Yeah. Vignette, but yeah, yeah, what a cool. Yeah, right. It doesn't really necessarily like it. Does it add to the photo? You know, and I see what he's trying to do. He wanted to maybe darken in the bottom and draw your attention into their faces more. Mm -hmm. But I, th I think by virtue of the fact that they are wearing dark clothing that is kind of a natural vignette almost right? it is yeah. yeah yep exactly so yeah very cool shot very nice yeah right. a lot of good stuff next shot a lot of black and white ah look at that yeah <laughs> yeah next shot is from joshua Sommerfeld. he says where's your mother <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, this this one made me laugh out loud when I saw it, and then when I read Joshua's, you know, comment or his title. He always has cool titles. Uh, it made me laugh even more. So yeah, it's just super I know, I know. Joshua's a big fan of of um, non human subjects, right, Joshua? Yes. Yeah, right. Like your even your your three D models are non human. Right, so non humans <laughs> or alligators or spiders or rattlesnakes, right? So right. there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. Capture capture that world that Yeah. You know, I I'm just remembering though, most of his subjects are pretty deadly if you get close to them, right? Like alligators <laughs> and deadly birds that like to attack your cameras and mm -hmm. you know, these <laughs> Apex predators, yeah. All of them. Apex yeah. predators. <laughs> As Joshua, yeah, I told him we were. I was in one of his live streams, and uh, what did I mention? Yeah, because he was saying he had poison ivy or something. I was mentioning, you know, he he's constantly putting himself in harm's way, you know, running through the jungle and taking shots and, you know, tempting rattlesnakes and all that. So you gotta be careful, man. Dar Darwin <laughs> is out there. He's looking to get you. <laughs> Don't uh, let no, Darwin you. get you, man. All right, next shot. Thank you, Joshua Sommerfeld. And Joshua, we're looking forward to seeing you at F64 Live, man. It's going to be a party. Yeah. All right, next shot is from Lamb. And Lamb says, 
The father was carrying the baby with a mini battery powered fan running to prevent the baby boy from getting heat stroke. The shot was taken outside safety outside the safety perimeter uh, fence during the KL1 First City GP in 2015. Oh, wow, look at that. A battery-powered fan on his <laughs> shoulder. That's dedication right there, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I noticed there's no shroud on that fan, though. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. not too aggressive of a fan, but I'm just thinking, you know. It's pretty close to that little infant's face, right? The clamp yeah. is, is between that baby and, and certain, you know, a, sh a close shave at least, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Crop a little bit off the left. Maybe we don't need, you know, you could even just crop almost a dad's shoulder a little bit in there to kind of get in there on the baby. But even the baby looks like he's got a little scrunchy forehead. Like, I don't know if he's having a good time or not. Yeah. He's like, you know what? If it's between the heat and decapitation, <laughs> I'll take heat, dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with you on the crop, though. Yeah. If like what we say, what do we say all the time in this in these critiques? If it doesn't add to the to the story then get rid of it right you know yeah, or minimize chop it, it off chop it off make, or minimize it some way black and white <laughs> yeah go black and white <laughs> go infrared right. make it infrared <laughs> go infrared yeah yes there's no infrared images in here hardly at all mark no. puts in sometimes parents. no no uh next shot is from our friend peter levshin peter Peter says, Sony A7R3, Bali father and son in the woodworking business, doing beautiful carving using a chainsaw, no protective clothing at all. Seems to work just fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm counting fingers in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, good mention. Yeah, I was going to look, too. I just hacked my finger. Not with a chainsaw, of course, but. Yeah, with some other kind of saw. But look at that woodwork, though. Look at that. Look at the uh, the horse on the right there. Wow. If you did, did they do that with a chainsaw? Come on. You didn't do that with a chainsaw. Rough cuts. There's no, you can't finish wood like that with a chainsaw. Yeah. Well, I guess somebody could maybe, but. Um, yeah, I want to see. I, I bet it could be, it can be done. That's a cool shot. What do you think of the processing of this? Though? I'm curious. I, did you, I like did you process this or did, did no, Peter do it? Okay. Probably used one of my styles though, but. <laughs> Everything from Peter has a little bit of me in it. So, um, no, I love the I love the processing. I like the black and white. I think I think we could go with a little bit of green or a little edginess in here a little bit more. Um, but it tells a good story just the way it is. I love the the chainsaw poised right there, and you know some of their work around them. They look happy. I like the hand around Dad. You know, yeah, they got a lot to teach. That's for sure. No, no, I dig it. I dig it. This is really cool. I love the, the Peter shots. All right. Peter needs to put together a giant Levshin coffee table book using, you know, his uh, photographic yeah. skills and his the company, you know? Right, right. Where's well, that he book? Is, You're making books for everybody else. How come I don't have a Peter book? He is kind of because he's going to be hanging at the Festival of the Arts in Laguna Beach for two months. So he's putting together sort of a portfolio book there. So this event has has really forced him to go through his art collection and organize it quite a bit. So it's been pretty cool to see some some of the images he's pulled out of there. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're in the Orange County, Southern California area and you go to the Pageant of the Masters or the Festival of the Arts, uh, look for Peter Levshin in there. I don't know his yeah. booth number, but you'll know. Big, giant uh, monk yeah prank. well any luck i'll be there too so oh yeah that's right yeah that's all right that's all right I get around man i get around <laughs> all right well i think that's it for our father's yep. day submissions it's uh yeah that's it man shortest critique ever shortest critique ever what is going on people what is going on <laughs> go kiss your fathers come on go get <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> Well, cool. Do we have another theme? Are you going to do a theme for next week? What's going on for next week? Next week, you are uh, ditching us because you are heading out to the woods or something. I'll so be, I'll be a mammoth. Yeah, mammoth. Yeah, but luckily Jake Hicks is stepping in. Twip Pro member Jake Hicks, also of RGG Edu Colored Gel fame. Is, yeah, uh, yeah. So Jake and I actually just got the phone with him. So we're gonna do a live stream on. Monday, this coming Monday, which is the uh, 24th of June. So Monday, the 24th of June at noon 
Pacific time, we'll be live streaming the critique. And I'll, of course, I'll make posts about it everywhere. So you guys will have the link. But we're going to live stream it on YouTube. So you'll be able to jump in there and follow along with us as we do the critique. It'll be just like this, only well, well, that guy, <laughs> that guy will have hair, you know, <laughs> uh, uh. long flowing Russell Brand hair. <laughs> I used to have hair like that, just just to let you know. Like it used <laughs> yeah. to be here. Yeah, there's a lot of Eustas, man. So yeah, don't, I know. don't live in the I past. <laughs> so no, so he's so the topic of that critique is Jake is obviously a, a fashion studio portrait photographer guy. So submit your fashion studio portraits, whatever you want. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be in that genre, um, but you know, Jake Jake can probably give the most substantive feedback on photos that are in that genre portraits gels all that stuff so if you have anything like that that you want to submit joshua joshua sommerfeld even submit your portraits that are not of real humans the uh the 3d renders and all that stuff and we'll we'll talk yeah talk to them. yeah joshua do an alien 3d render multicolored in very hicks fashion you should do that that'd be rad oh you know what you should do joshua she needs a you tail should, though she has no you should go find your favorite jake hicks shot and recreate it in 3d <laughs> Using a 3D model and submit yeah. that and see what he says about it. That'd be that'd be awesome. I'd love to see that critique. That would be cool. Yeah. So so that's next week's. Uh, but you know what we didn't do before we end this? We didn't pick our favorite. Pick our winner. Yeah, we got to pick a winner. So let's go back in. That here. one right there. I'm I'm looking at it. I'm gonna go with. I think we agree that this one is the winner right there. Yes. Très bien. Yeah. Definitely. Love it. I love this shot. Yeah, the processing yep. is spot on. The subject matter fits right in with the critique topic. It's, it does. It's just awesome. You know, this is a really, really good photo. Uh, hopefully you have this framed in your house, Alicia. This is really, really good. So, And I hope your dad yep. liked it. And uh, What's not to like? And, you know, Unless he's one of those dads that's like, I hate, I hate every photo of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yeah, taking no, pictures of me. Yeah, so congratulations, Alicia. You are you are this week's favorite. Very, very good work. Perfect. Cool. Yep. All right. I guess that's it for this week's well episode. Like I said, you're ditching us going off to Mammoth. What's in Mammoth? What are you doing out there? Are you uh, uh, Bodie hunting? Ghost Town is out there in Mammoth. Mono Lake is out there. Bridgeport. Uh, so lots of the photographs are tons of lakes and mountains. And so I'm going to do some star photography. Uh, I just got a... 14 to 30 lens from a Nikon Z and I got another Z6. So I'm going to be shooting all those out there doing all kinds of stuff. Very Just cool. a Troy day. Yeah. Weekend. <laughs> there you go. Are you going by yourself? Or are you, you going? No. With the family? no, family goes with me. They just sort of tolerate me taking photos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. As long as I feed them really well at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Feed them, give them some oxygen, a little sunlight. They'll be good to go. So <laughs> Yeah, they'll be good. Yeah, they'll be good. They're very tolerant of me and my, my photography. So that'll yeah, be fun. It. Love it. All right, man. Well, you have a fantastic trip, and uh, I assume you're going to tell us all about it when you get back, right? So. I will. I will, and I will be auditing the image critique. I will be. I'll be following. I'm following that while I'm driving home. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see if Jake Hicks can can hold a candle to your critique uh, and nitpicking powers. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know he can. He's a cool. He's a cool dude. I like him. So that'll be great. Awesome. Right. I look forward to it. Cool, man. All right. Well, you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, you too, buddy. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. This is Twitter.